suppose i declare a variable called print stuff over here then i have to write uh, on the top planet dot print stuff equals to log right so i can use this print stuff variable to print the info print stuff dot info print stuff dot info we can use it like this basically what i am trying to tell you is that log object is by default invoked in the script but it is not in, inside the class planet so in my class planet i'll define its own log object this is for the class and i'll declare it static because log has to be there for everything right it's a common property for the class at the class level fine so i'll declare it static i will not make it a part of an object and i will write in every function log dot info log dot info but to initialize this property log i will have to write over here planet dot log why planet dot log because log is static i can access it with the name of the class dot log equals to log this log object is actually the object in the script okay now when you run this it will run fine and it prints pluto which is the name for example i can write like this name of planet is plus name and when you run this it prints name of planet is pluto in groovy you can instead of plus you can also write it like this dollar name if you run this it will again print pluto you can write dollar name dollar can if you don't have to use the concatenation operator that is the plus operator you can use dollar as well that will be referred as a variable see the color changes to orange right so you can write dollar name as well in group so this is just the beginning just the starting initialize the log object in the very beginning so that i can do the logging inside the class as well inside the class i do not have access to log object which is invoked by default so i have to initialize it like this there are other ways to initialize it as well that is using constructors and all we will look at that we will look at those ways we will look at everything but right now let us uh, use this way fine again why did i make it static so that i don't have to create the object to initialize this i can directly initialize it planet dot log and for everything this will be initialized okay so we started about what is a groovy class non static variable static variables functions right there are two types of variables non static variables and static variables and there are two types of functions non static functions and static functions right now we have to initialize the log inside the class if you are not using class then it's fine but if we are using a class we have to initialize the log right now object and object references i just told you that what object is and what object reference is there when we write planet p1 equals to new planet new planet will create the object but p1 would be the reference references can move from one object to another object okay right now now there are some rules for static and non static the only rule which you remember uh, should be static cannot access non static what do you mean by this for example this is the revolve function okay and inside this suppose i write log dot info the name of the planet 
if i run this i'll get an error now as i had told you earlier with the help of a diagram static is something which is at a common location in the memory out here from static i'm trying to access the name property okay from static i'm trying to access the name just a minute right now which name do we want to access which name out here we have got two objects this is the object and this is the object now i am not sure which name to access if i am trying to in the inside the revolve function if i am trying to access the name whether it is this name or this name or if there are thousand objects which name are you trying to access so that's why right that's why we do not have this thing right that is we we cannot access stat cannot access non static inside static but if i want to access shape you can do that you can write planet revolving full stop shape is dollar shape i have to comment this out and if i run this this runs fine i have to call this function i did not call this static function i have to call this revolve function i this is static function so it can be directly called like this planet dot revolve okay so if you run this it will print a planet revolving shape is circle i can call this function directly with the name of the class because static can be accessed directly okay now uh why is this possible why can i call static from static this is because the revolve function when it tries to access shape all the planets have the same shape right it can access it access this variable but when it when it tries to access the name variable it gets confused which name variable so you cannot access non static from static okay that is the only rule in non static function you can do anything i can use the name right i can use the i can write shape is dollar shape i can use both static non static you can use anything there is no restriction but in static function you cannot use non static if you run this so static function can only access static content suppose there is another function out here called as public void x y z <coughs> i'm sorry this is just a normal function x y z and i want to call this function in this i'll write log dot info inside x y z if i call this function from my static function this will give me an error why because this is non static static can only cannot access non static so if you try to run this you will get an error okay but if i make this x y z static and i run if i run this you see that it prints inside x y z x y z is called from here it goes inside the function and it prints x y z right so you can call one function from another function as well from my revolve function i can call x y z i call it on this line it gets executed then the control comes back over here right it prints log dot info planet re revolving 
shape is circle this line before that it goes into the xyz function so you can create a function and you can also call a function from a function but provided this if static function is calling another function that another function should be static if it is not static you cannot call it in case of non static function you there is no restriction again i can call x y z if it is static non static whatever it is i can call it so what it will do it will first print name of function is this and then it will call the x y z function right so if you run this this prints the name and then calls the x y z function no matter whether x y z is static or non static it really doesn't matter to non static functions so only rule is don't get confused static cannot access non static things so at static functions it cannot they cannot access non static right look this thing will not be used to a very great extent but at times when you are stuck then you stuck very then you get stuck very badly if you don't know these fundamentals okay it is very important to know these fundamentals or it, no no st stuff it really becomes very difficult if you don't know the, these all these things so let's make another class right i'll make another uh, sorry i'll make another groovy script called as another example of static non static say phone right out here we'll declare a very a class called phone and in this i'll declare a variable string caller number and oh uh, sorry not string define in in groovy it is define define uh, one is caller num number one is receiver number the person whom you are that is your call your number the phone number from which the call is being made and the phone number of the receiver okay in this we will also declare a variable called define lock make it static so that i can write phone dot log is lock i can use the log object inside the phone class right Now if I declare if I declare a variable if I if I create object say phone p1 equals to new phone p1 dot caller number is one 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 that is the phone from which the call is being made and p1 dot receiver number is two two two. so if i make a function inside it a non static function say public void print details this function will simply write log dot info caller number dollar caller number is calling dollar receiver number so simply if you write over here p1 dot print detail so out here when i run this it will give me an error hold on online uh, number okay i did not give round brackets fine and another error uh, line number 16 anything but slash and got it line okay you don't put us no i am a java guy so i got a habit of putting a semicolon right now again an error on not put in Mm, break it close. Uh, sorry, double quote should be closed. If you run this, it will print one 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 is calling two two two. 
Similarly, you can create other objects as well. Say four, three, two. This is some one, two, three, and four, five, six. So this will print. If you write P2, P2, and P2 dot print details, it will print the details for phone two. That is, this number is calling this number. Right. Now you can have a function which is common for all the phones, like public void switch off. Some I'm just keeping a hypothetical example. Here. So if I write phone dot switch off, so this will call the switch off function and will switch off all the phones. Just taking a hypothetical example out here, right? So this is static. Okay, right? Now. Um, Say assume this phone class only represents one phone. That is your phone, the phone which you carry in your pocket. Okay. So in the if it is just one phone, then the caller number should remain same, right? So what I will do is I'll declare caller number as static in that case, and I'll write phone dot caller number is one two three four five suppose so this is for your phone so whenever i run this just a moment missing exception line number 11 uh, okay 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 sorry I have to make it static. I did not make it static. If I'm calling this directly with the class name, I have to make it static. Now I assumed that the number from which I am calling is constant. Right? So P1 object will call this number, P2 object will call this number, but the number from which I am calling is constant. So I made that number static. If I run this, this will print. Let me run this. This will print one two three four five calling is calling two 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 and then the same number calling two. So this is just a small example to explain you what static can do. It can move your variable out of the object and it can make it common for all the objects.